Today is um, April 22nd, and my mission is uh, 100 films, no matter where they come from. And anyway, we have data just walked in from Reading, Pennsylvania. Actually, it's on its way to Wayne from Reading, which is like an hour and a half, two hours run. Let's see you later. Well, anyway, when we were running to Wayne, he had to come back. And since he saw me on YouTube, he said, you know what, I got to uh, pay him a visit because I'm raw, and I just want to check this place out. Yeah, I, said, I need the cocoa butter. And now you're going to check it out, you're going to be in the film, you're going to be our 84th person for this year. And uh, why don't you explain how you got involved in it, why you're in it, and uh, how old you are? Um, well, first of all, I'm 20 years old. Um, I went to school for a year at William Patterson University, which is in Wayne. And I was in a philosophy class, and I, I just started thinking about uh, how hungry I was in the middle of class, and I pulled out an, an organic food bar that one of my friends gave me. And I'm like, this is amazing. And so I started to research um, organic foods, and I stumbled upon raw foods. And, when I, and at the time, when I was reading about philosophy, it sort of made sense. Yeah, it sort of made sense. And Not to cook your food and destroy it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Yeah, I'm doing, doing that. I'm doing that for better. For about a year. And you first started reading about uh, with David Wolf, I guess? Yeah, I got really interested in uh, David right. Wolf stuff. Right. He said, like, you know, he was doing it. Right. He looked, he looked kind of like a, a Greek god. Yeah, he kind of looked like David Wolf. It's kind of shit. Yeah, he kind of looked like David Wolf. Yeah, yeah that's, you do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of. Because you have the, the energy of, you know, of uh, purity and excellence and very mellow. Uh, were you like that always? Or? Um, generally, yeah. I've always been enthusiastic. Like, I mean, before I went raw, I used to make, I used to cook for my friends. Right. And I used to make a lot of, like, a lot of roast beef sandwiches. Roast beef sandwiches. So, right. a lot of my friends got really disappointed because I wouldn't make that anymore. Oh, wow. Sorry. But, um, they're, I mean, I've been trying to... Are you making food for your friends? Are making raw food meals? For yeah, I've been trying to make raw food meals for my friends. I've been, like... And how's that working out? It's working out pretty well. Um, right. They still, they, they totally understand it, but they're, right. they're fairly smart. Right. Um, we have one guy here with Jane Blavis, he's friends with the world. I mean, that's, that's one of my goals. One of your goals. But it's just really expensive. Like, um, without a lot of the local um, farmers who have been and put in the goods, it's really hard. Good. Anything else you want to say? Nine million, this is Dano, by the way. <laughs> oh. Um, also, okay. in the middle of opening up a, a juice bar. Wow, that's serious. So when, when you went raw, you decided to really kind of follow your passion. Yeah. Well, I mean, I went to school for business. Right. And, and you have a tough business over the juice bar. Ready? Ready, maybe. Maybe not. Ready, maybe not. I actually picked the door and just closed. Well, my parents wanted to open up a tanning salon. Right. <laughs> and a juice bar. Right. Which is like, they kind of conflict. Right. So do they right now look for locations? Um, no, I worked at a health food store for about half a year. Okay. And I did some networking. Ready? Right now my one employee didn't show up. Okay, you want to work for us? You want to volunteer for the rest of the day? We'll show you how to run a business? Sure. Okay. <laughs> True story. My one employee did not show up today. It's a little slow, so I needed it. one employee. Well, I have three, one, three, one, two, three. I'm going to keep it small. Health food is tough. Yeah. Juice bar is really tough. But I'll show you how to do it. Right. Today we'll show you how to make money. <laughs> How's that? Okay, anything else? No? Okay, today we'll show Daniel how to how to work a juice bar, how to make money out of it, and we're also gonna show you uh, uh, how I run my business. Right. You're a volunteer, you'll be a volunteer too? I'll be a volunteer. Okay, good. That's it.